This episode is rated PG, parental guidance warning. Just joking. This is family friendly. Hi there. This is Matt with Grand Ventures. Today, we're at a little location in Olympia, Washington called Eastside Big Tom's. Now, this is touted as the world's oldest burger drive-in in Washington State. And as you can see, we got a stormtrooper behind us here, and it says Goop Wars. What is Goop? Well, we're going to show you. We're out here at Big Tom's, and not only do they have some delicious food and some cool looking things to see, but they have some dinosaurs. And we know a little Everly here, she likes dinosaurs, don't you? You like the Velociraptor and the T-Rex. So we're gonna check this place out. You guys excited? Yes. And if you're interested in coming out to Big Tom, looks like they're open Tuesday through Saturday. 11 to 2 and 4 to 7. They got walk-up orders as well. Now, we're in the parking lot here. This is both a drive-in and it looks like they have an outdoor eating area, but they have all these really interesting wooden characters. Jack Skellington, Yoda, Wonder Woman, Ninja Turtle, we have the Stormtrooper, Elvis, Fred Flintstone, Hello Kitty, Maybe a Blues Brother, Leonard Nimoy, and looks like maybe a roller derby gal. Now this place opens at 11, and right now it's about seven after, and there's already a line and people here waiting to eat, so it seems quite like a popular place. And they have a seating area, looks like some old timey stools. They got this big Tom rat, and kind of an old, car scene. Big Tom's established in 1948. And if you look over here, we got Big Tom right there. Hi, Mama. Hi, go enjoy some burgers at Big Tom's. Ooh, delicious. Now, since this is a restaurant, it looks like they have a restroom here, and it's almost unrecognizable. As you can see, it kind of blends in. They got a pterodactyl up there on the roof, the Big Tom sign, and look there. Oscar the Grouch, he's down there holding down the bathroom. But this is kind of interesting. It's, it's almost incognito. And look, it says to boldly go. They both have, looks like a Star Trek character, male and female. Now open, I think 11 till two, you can walk through this dinosaur area, which is free, which is nice. And you can go see the various different dinosaurs. If you take a look, it looks like there's a T-Rex back there. Everly and the kiddos and mom are already in there and she's loving the dinosaurs so we're going to show you what they have to offer here. It looks like a picnic sort of seating area as well as the dinosaurs you can take a look at. One of the first ones you see when you walk in is old T-Rex here and the detail on this is actually really good if you can see. He's got his teeth there. Look at his eye. And they're pretty large for a little perspective. I'm standing in front here, I'm about 5'9". So they are pretty sizable, which is nice. But the detail's really good. And as you can see here, they have a Velociraptor greeting you up front. He's fairly large as well. And this is just right off the main road here in Olympia. I think this is called Pacific Avenue. And also they have a real strict policy to not feed the dinosaurs either. Even though there's delicious food here, they don't want you to share it with them. Now for the faint of heart, be careful. Looks like we have a Dilophosaurus. Now this one in Jurassic Park spits on you, so be careful. Little Everly here, now she really loves dinosaurs. What dinosaurs do you see here? Uh, a Spinosaurus. A Spinosaurus? Yes. Yeah. What is your favorite dinosaur you've seen? Oh, I like this little baby one. This little baby one? Yeah. Oh, is he so cute? Yeah. Where's his mama at? It's right over there. Oh, that's her off in the and, distance. And what? What, Dada? What do you can hear it. Wow. Oh, can you hear it? Does it make sound? Oh. Look, this guy over here. Oh, wow. She's like our own personal Jurassic Park tour guide. Yeah. One thing I really like here, they have this replica Jurassic Park ride vehicle. And if you take a look, it says Burgrassic 
Park, Eastside Tom Presents. Oh, and even look, there's one that busted through. Kind of hard to see in the window there. Dino Jaws, and it looks like there's a couple eggs he's guarding. And this guy's on top of the vehicle, keeping watch. And it's interesting, this is all put out in front of what looks like a, a home at one point. Out of the depths comes this dinosaur. He looks angry. They definitely have a lot of dinosaurs here, but that guy, and here's my favorite, good old Triceratops, and he's being healthy, eating green. That other one was merely the baby, here's the mama, and she's quite large. And it's a drive up where you can also walk up and get food, but what's really nice is you get your food and then you can come over in this sheltered garden area. This is called the Garden of Eaton. This is where you can sit down and enjoy your food. This section is the dinosaur area and then back here they have an additional sort of seating area and they got it looks like good old Bruce the shark there in the corner. They have a big connect four, some ice cream seats and they got Batman over there and from the looks of it Robert Pattinson put on a little weight. We had mentioned Goop earlier. They have a Goop shirt. Now, rumor has it the Goop is the special sauce that they put on their items. So we're definitely gonna have to try some Goop. And it's a big enough deal that you can get a shirt. And this section doesn't appear to be open right now. Maybe in the hotter winter months, they have a shake station where you can come get some shakes and drinks. And one thing this place is known for, I was seeing online, is interesting shakes. This is, I don't know if this is the shake of the month, but they have the Bella Cosa Badger, which is deep fried bacon and maple syrup. And also we saw a different one on their Instagram that was pickle juice and peanut butter flavored. I don't know if that was quite a hit, but definitely some interesting flavors. Let's give you a little snapshot of the menu here. Got the big and little Tom regular burgers. Looks like they got a bacon burger. They also got some chicken sandwiches. Some sides, french fries and such. Soda, and they got milkshakes, including those interesting ones we talked about. So you can order at this window. We got a whole bunch of food coming. We'll show you what that looks like. It does sound delicious, and we got a bunch of hungry, hungry kiddos with us. So we're gonna put a hurting on it. So just wanted to give you a quick heads up. This place gets your food lightning fast. We ordered less than a couple minutes ago. And as you can see, we already got our food out here and it took took just a matter of a couple minutes which is awesome as you can see we got quite the feast brother has a cheeseburger there looks good this is the uh, big tom burger and that's it's double meat double cheese pretty loaded in there oh yeah we got a oh yeah look at that that looks delicious and this is the infamous dun 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 that's the infamous goop looks delicious we got a couple sides, some onion rings, some fries. This young lady has a corn dog, and Haley got some chicken strips. They look so good. Okay, we are seated, we are ready. I got the Big Tom, which is double meat, double cheese. And it's got some goop and some other good stuff on it. Let's see how it is. Oh, that looks delicious. Oh, the goop is delicious. It's, I think it's all for my beard, though. <laughs> okay, and I I got to try some of this sauce cup of goop with an onion ring. Look at these onion rings. Ooh. They look so good. So I got to try this out here. Mmm. Good? Delicious. Okay, if you take a look here, this is the goop. I'm gonna try one with some tater tots. It reminds me a little bit of tartar sauce. It almost kind of looks like potato salad a little bit. It's, what do you think's it, in it? Guesses. 
Um, looks kind of like mustard, maybe mayo and some relish. Yeah. It's kind of their fry sauce, but maybe a little vinegar too. Yeah, it's it's really good though. Yeah, I don't know that I like it. I don't know that I like it better than ranch or barbecue sauce, but Ew. when at Big Tom's, you got to come for the goop. So we just ate here, and the food, in my opinion, was really good. The burger was fresh. All the um, fries and onion rings and stuff, really good. The goop, uh, I'm not a huge fan. Like I said, I'd rather maybe have just some ranch. But definitely try it. Like I said, it reminds me kind of a tartar sauce a little bit. But the burger was good. The kiddos liked their food. So definitely come here for the food. It's, you know, diner style food, but delicious. What do you yeah. think, Mama? I thought it was delicious. Like, honestly, and this is just my honest opinion, I think the burgers are better than In-N-Out. You heard that here. That's that's a tall order. They yeah. they were definitely they good. They were so good, and mm -hmm. they had a lot of toppings on them. They weren't skimpy at all, and uh, just delicious. The prices are reasonable. It was about sixty dollars for us to all eat, um, and that includes ice cream cones for everybody. A dollar fifty for ice cream cones. So. Yeah, some of the stuff is really reasonable, especially everything's kind of crazy in the world right now. Prices are going up. We've dined out a couple times, and we're grabbing our hearts. But this was reasonable to feed all five of us, and with some cream at the end. And we'll show you that. I've never had it before, but it's not just any cream. It is not vanilla, not chocolate, birthday cake ice cream. Woo! So we're going to treat ourselves to a cone <laughs> after this and let you know how it is. But the food definitely gets a thumbs up in yes, my book. for sure. I got Batman behind me. And here is my birthday cake soft serve. And as you can see, I took a little nibble off of it. It is delicious. I've never had birthday cake soft serve before. Really, really good. And only like a buck fifty or so. How's your ice cream, guys? It's so good. Really unique taste. Really good. Good? And what a perfect backdrop with all the dinos there. Okay, out here in front of the dinosaur, Holden just finished his birthday cake ice cream. Give us your review. Um, it was really good as you can tell. I have lots on my face, but that's just because I enjoyed it. I rated it like a nine out of ten. It was really good. Awesome. Well, and if seeing a lot of dinosaurs wasn't enough, they also have a replica mystery machine. And up here in the passenger seat, got old Scooby-Doo himself. Can they see? Can you see Scooby-Doo? That would be dangerous. That would be dangerous. Big Tom's in the background. Oh, it looks like, is that Velma? She's got like a ghoul's mask. And this mystery machine, license plate says Scooby Snacks. And it's got Scooby-Doo and looks like Shaggy's dressed like Tom holding some burgers there. So this is out in the parking lot just adjacent to this business. Well, we're going to end our trip out here to Eastside's Big Tom here with this dino in the background. Kind of saying hi to us. But what a fun place. Definitely if your kids like dinosaurs or if you're a dinosaur enthusiast, come out here. They got some interesting pieces. And also the food is something to write home about. Very delicious, quick service and pretty reasonably priced for a horror whole family so definitely come check out Eastside big toms in olympia washington also if you like these travel videos we really enjoy making them and showing you these different places give us a big thumbs up that definitely helps our channel also if you're not a subscriber please do and make sure and smash that bell additionally we have a patreon now five dollars a month will get you a personalized postcard from a location we visit and we hope you join us on our next adventure <laughs>